how do I read the Bible correctly? With so many different doctrines and ideas, how do I know which one is right and which one will lead me into false teaching? I need to know truth and be sure that it is truth I actually have. In this video, as we walk through the basic principles of interpretation that we call hermeneutics. Hit the subscribe button and get your notebook. It's an introduction to hermeneutics on teaching truth today. In the beginning, I misunderstood. No, now not I Herman Munster. And it wasn't invented by Herman Munster. It's hermeneutics. 1 Corinthians 14.33 For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace. Since the Bible teaches that God is not the author of confusion, how can the many disagreements today between Christians and the proliferation of the cults be explained since all, or nearly all, claim to use the Bible as the basis of their doctrines. Matthew 7.15 Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. Nearly all false doctrines taught today by Christians and cults alike can be traced to the distortion of the meaning of biblical words and principles. The expression hermeneutic derives from the Greek verb hermeneunion. That verb is related to the noun hermeneus, which is referable to the name of the god Hermes. While the Bible is generally plain in its meaning, proper interpretation requires a careful study and is not always an easy task. Consider that the Bible was written over a period of roughly 2,000 years by 40 or more authors using three languages. Hebrews, Aramaic, and Greek. The authors wrote in different genres and had different vocabularies, personalities, cultural backgrounds, and social standings. The Holy Spirit moved each of these men to produce His inspired, inerrant, and infallible Word. But He allowed their various writing styles and personalities to be expressed in its pages. It was written in a culture very different from our modern world and has been translated from its original languages in every language we have. These are just some of the factors that must be taken into account as we interpret. God desires for His people to know and understand His Word. That's why He gave it to us. Biblical interpretations is more than knowing a set of rules, but it cannot be done without the rules. So learn the rules and rightly apply them. I'm Mike Allen from Teaching Truth Today. So long, everyone. Two, three, four. Say the word and you'll be free. Say the word and be like me. Say the word I'm thinking of. It's so fine, it's sunshine, it's the world.